Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here. Thank you for joining me today. I have this layout as tutorial for today. It is my second project with the April Limited Edition Kit by my creative scrapbook. This is the vintage photo. I just love it. And I want to use the shipboard that comes in the kit. This paper is one of my favorite of the background. The first thing that I am doing right now is uh, priming the paper. I'm using the clear gesso uh, by Prima Marketing from Finavera Products. And I'm going to use this tool, the scrapbook.com that I just love it. It's help, this tool helps to uh, spread evenly all the medium and in a super easy way, you can see how fast I did it. And I think that I received this tool as a gift, I made an order, I think it was last December, and I received the, the this tool. Okay, now I am using the shipboards that comes in the kit. I'm going to use the embossing a Dover by Ranger. It is like a liquid adhesive that has a Dover, and it's perfect to use in uh, on chipboards and in one like this that has uh, many details. I just dab in uh, this uh, liquid and cover all the piece and it is ready for uh, the embossing powder that I'm using now that is from Blue Fern Studio. I am spreading this and uh, cover all the chipboard now I'm using my tweezers and checking uh, the excess of powder. Now with the heat tool, I am melting the embossing powder. And I'm going to show you how lovely it is the embossing. Let me show you close because it has like a glitter, you can see here, like a tiny glitter. I just love this. Uh, it gives like a rustic look. Uh, very lovely. I was thinking to use my craft knife, but at the end I use my scissor. This one are, are, uh, is the Tim Hall scissor and cut shipboard perfectly. Now look the background of the paper. I just love it. You don't need a lot of things with a paper like this one. Now I'm using this die cut by LDRS and I want to cut a piece with this chain shape I, I should say shape and here it is you can I don't know if you can see it has like a stitches but mm, it's hard to see through the video and I want to place this in this part of the paper here and use these two pieces as a gate and put it uh, in each side of my vintage photo and this is a uh, more or less what I want to do. Now I am making pencil marks in the area that the photo will be, and I'm going to start to give a uh, texture. I use the Distress Grid Paste, it is the opaque, and it is like a medium that has a lot of texture. It looks like sand. I think I used it in my previous video. I already made a project using this kit. If you didn't watch yet my first tutorial using this kit, I will let you the link in the description box down below. Also the link to the kit and my social media. Here you can see I am drying now all the textures and look how it looks. I think that uh, because the photo is a uh, vintage, I don't know, I think that I need like a piece of lace. But first, let me show you what I did with this, with both pieces. I add a piece of chipboard on the back to create dimension. I'm going to place this, the piece like this, and I have this uh, lace that I want to add at, uh, in the background, on the background. And I'm going to adhere it with tacky glue. I will do this part fast. I will move forward the video, but because this area has a lot of dimension with the with the stencil work, work I am using my brayer just to uh, try to adhere these the both pieces easy in an easier way, and I will do the same here. And it is ready. Now I'm going to adhere this piece 
in the area that I mark, I use, I continue using the tacky glue and I will do the same with the photo. And center here. Now I am going to move to the shipboard pieces and I want to attach this in this way, but I'm going to add the glue only in the border here because I want the other that stay loose and uh, in case that I want to add something on the back and in that way you can add more dimension to the project. So I am, if you add glue in all the pieces, it will, you know, it will glue flat and it will don't have the same effect. Here I am showing you the ephemera and the flowers that I'm going to use. I love this piece from the ephemera, I just love it. I have these hangers that I bought at Michael and I want to uh, uh, adhere one of these hangers, metal hangers in this part of the ephemera uh, cut and look how it looks. I think that it brings a lovely touch to this piece. I make it special now. Okay, now I'm going to start to build all. Here are the ephemera packages. In the kit you have two ephemera package, one full of flowers. Well, this that I'm using now is that package uh, that has all the leaves and flowers. I just trim off the white borders because uh, I love in that way. Now I am playing with the different flowers, the size. I am making here uh, my composition with a different uh, ephemera. I am trying to make like a waterfall here, uh, effect similar with all the lips. So you can see that I am putting in this direction and I am folding by half the lips. It, it is a tip that you can do with a die cut if you want to bring a more natural look to these pieces, just fold it and it looks better. Now I am placing different uh, ephemera uh, flowers behind the gate uh, to create more dimension and interest in my project. Here you can see this is uh, one of the dyes of the ephemera and I am trimming off the white borders. I prefer in that way. You can leave it uh, with the white border, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, um, I think that it looks better in this way. And I'm going to place it here and I continue. Other thing that I'm going to do off camera is that I'm going to use the distress oxide and distress all these leaves. Now is the tacky glue and I'm going to adhere all these pieces. Okay, I made, check the, the arrows. I add a little of, of stencil work in this corner here. In this moment, I am adhering some pearls here and there. And other thing that I did off camera is that I use uh, the distress oxide. I think it's the vintage photo. And I distress the borders of the flowers and the leaves. And <laughs> you can see if you move the video uh, back, you can see how it looks first and after I uh, adhered everything. The distress gives uh, more depth and dimension to all this. Look how pretty are these glass beads. I'm going to adhere it with 3D gloss gel. I just love that this glass bead in this neutral color, like a ivory pearl, it will bring this sparkling effect on the background and it brings me more dimension and texture. And one thing that I love about this one is that it only you need to see it if you are close to the project. You only will see like a sparkling effect on the background with these glass beads. I will show you a video, a short video at the end, so you can see what I am talking about. <coughs> and also I'm going to show you the outdoor photos that sometimes I can uh, focus better in some area and you can see the details, but never, never looks the same in person that a photo, never. <laughs> Here I cover the photo and now I am giving white paint splatters. I am trying to smooth all the border with this uh, technique. I just love it. I am <laughs> remove it from the title because I don't want the title, the letters are in gold, so it's difficult if you 
I have all this uh, white splatter over all the letters. And you can see, I also add some the butterflies and some things that are from the papers. And here it is, I'm going to show you the final result. It's white, but you can see the dimensions, look the details, and I just love it. It looks so, so pretty and you can do it like in, in one hour and one and a half. Look the colors out with the photos outdoor. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know if you like it. Bring me a thumbs up and share this video. And I'm going to let you two more videos here that maybe you are interested. And I come back soon with a new video tutorial. Nos vemos. Bye bye.